What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Fauci Cinema. And today's a very special day where I get to review a fan film <clears throat> like no other. A fan film from probably one of my best friends that I've, you know, that I've met. And I've met him from doing YouTube and met him from Facebook and Instagram. I'm talking about James Graham, my buddy. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about his Friday the 13th fan film, My Special Boy. And you guys are probably thinking, Fotch, we know you're his best buddy. You're just going to fucking blow smoke up his ass and tell him everything he wants to hear. And, and, and that's not the case. Today, I'm going to be fair as I possibly can be. Just watched it for the very first time last night, which would have been October. I'm not good with the dates. So it comes out 28th. I watched it on... Monday, so I watched it on the 24th. I watched it on the 24th. I got to see it a couple days earlier than everybody else. Surprise, surprise. And I was ecstatic. I thought, you know, I had my expectations up pretty high. Um, I know James worked very hard on this for the past two years, him and his crew. And let me tell you guys what. He delivered on this bad boy, okay? Um, if you're looking for a Friday the 13th film that takes it back to basics, that takes it back to camp, gives you a brutal killing machine <clears throat> in Jason. This is the Friday the 13th fan film for you. Uh, my special boy delivers that in spades. I'm talking from the moment this movie begins, you're at camp. You do not leave camp, which is what <clears throat> these movies are supposed to be. I know we've got a lot of other fan films. They kind of eliminated that camp, you know, atmosphere, that camp scenario yes they might have a camp in it for a little bit but that's not what the movie's based on so i think that is the greatest uh, strength of this film one of the greatest strengths i should say um so james thank you for taking jason back to where he belongs camp crystal lake at a camp killing counselors this had you know the, the this had vibes of the first few movies one two three and four definitely had vibes of that i think that's what he was going for but it also had a little bit I could see some splashes of the reboot thrown in as well from 2009, which I greatly appreciated. You're hearing that in the opening music that I used and what's playing behind me in the background right now. Frank Dormani killed it with this soundtrack. Definitely hearing a lot of splashes from 2009, and I am digging it. I think this is a great soundtrack. Every song was badass. Frank knocked it out of the park. Cinematography from our boy Don Murphy. He killed it. This is a beautifully shot film. Very, very nice. You get every aesthetic of camp that you want. The overhead shots. Everything about this movie screams a Friday the 13th film to me personally. Um, <clears throat> is it the best Friday the 13th fan film ever made? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. It's definitely, I put it in the top two for sure. But I do not have it at number one. Um, I just like another fan film a little bit more. Um, and it's a little bit more my speed, but this one was great as well. Jason, played by Chad Sumner, powerful, brutal, fierce, uh, quick, agile, everything you want in a Jason, he brings to it. And if you want a running Jason, this is the Jason for you, because Chad delivers. He has some powerful kills. Every time he's on screen, he's scary, makes you think back to those original Jasons, Richard Brooker, Ted White. He's up there with those guys in performance for me. So, props off, Chad. You did a bang job, buddy. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, you know, Braden did a great job again as the lead. Uh, I thought he was great. Um, is he the strongest actor? No, but of course he's not because he's not an actor by trade. This isn't what he does. So, uh, of course you can look, overlook that kind of aspect. For me, uh, the, the, the person that stole the show uh, was Adrian. Uh, his character, Derek, I thought something about him drew me in. I really was enticed by his character. Um, you know, he, he did not go to acting school. He does not have acting classes, but that did not show in his performance whatsoever. Uh, very believable, very sad to see the tragic end of that character, unfortunately. Um, but in these movies, you know, everybody, everybody can go. It, it just depends. The director's vision of who is going to live and who's going to die. So, very interesting. The final battle between Jason and um, 
and Braden's character. Fantastic, I thought. You know, they both put up a fight. You know, they didn't need weapons. They just went hand-to-hand -hand combat. It was nice to see. A little team-up effort to take Jason out also with Derek, you know, coming in as well. Um, I thought it was fantastic. Uh, another thing I liked about this movie, I thought Gia Rose's performance as Mrs. Voorhees, it was it was okay. It wasn't the best Mrs. Voorhees portrayal I've ever seen, but it wasn't the worst. Uh, she did what she had to do. She came across as a, you know, a heart struck mother who just lost her son. So I definitely understand her character for sure. But she did a, a, a great job. I just, it just, I've seen, you know, better portrayals from that character in other films. But, you know, great job to Gia. She did a great job with what she was asked to do. Um, April and, and Sean's chemistry in this movie were, was great. Um, <clears throat> I thought that, you know, they really, you really got invested in them too. And, and it really worked well. Um, some things that I did, you know, a little bit mixed on. Uh, the flashback scenes that they were showing whenever Sean, <clears throat> either Sean or, or Derek was explaining, you know, what happened at the camp and that Jason was killing the people and the mother and everything. Um, I, I, it was okay for me. I, I Maybe the, the way that it appeared on screen, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. I know they were trying to go for that, like, 8 that eight millimeter or 16 millimeter, whatever that look at that is, kind of grainy and whatnot. I really wasn't feeling that that much. Um, I, I could have done with, either without the flashbacks or saw the flashbacks in a different way. I, I mean, I really enjoyed the sackhead flashback stuff. Um, but other than that, just just could have been shown a different way to make it work a little bit better for me. Um, and then another surprise that I didn't know, Dave McRae, the great Dave McRae, had a cameo appearance, the guy on the radio, which I did not know. I know James told me he was in this movie. I didn't notice him anywhere, so I was a little confused. But they got the great Dave McRae. You know, the great voiceover actor with a great YouTube channel to come in here and, you know, do the little voiceover action for the radio, which I really enjoyed. So that was great as well. Um, you know, like I said, it was definitely a pretty damn good Friday the 13th fan film. I highly would recommend go checking it out. Um, if you haven't watched it by now and you watch this whole review, go check it out. It was pretty badass. Uh, James and his team did a great, great job. Everybody involved. I could see the effort that was put into it for sure. Um, and if you're looking for a brutal killing Jason with a high body count, this is the one for you because this delivers on everything that James promised in the marketing campaign. The body count begins. He was damn right. There was a lot of kills. I gave this bad boy a four out of five stars. I treated it like any other movie. Um, so definitely go check it out. Show him some love. And I can't wait to get my perks. Can't wait to get my, my special boy, Hawk. Gonna go back on the shelf with the rest of these masks. Go support it. Definitely go check it out on Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook. On YouTube. If you watched it once, go watch it again. And, oh, and definitely make sure to click the like button on, on his movie because it'll help get that out to further Friday the 13th fans. Definitely spread the word, share it, do all you can. Uh, it would really mean a lot to James and Braden and the crew. So I loved it. Yeah, I think you guys are gonna dig it too. Go check it out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Keep rocking, keep being you. And have a scary day.